Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is a simple guide to which effects to add, and in which order, to your vocals in BandLab. Adding your effects to your vocals can look daunting, but here is a simple guide to what effects to add, and in which order. To add your own effects to your vocals, near the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects, and tap on the plus icon on the None icon. The first effect to consider is the noise gate. At this point, this is used to remove background noise by removing the sound between the vocals, or to sharpen the vocals by removing the natural decay of the sung or spoken words. To add a noise gate at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on Noise Gate. The next effect to consider is the de esser This is used to remove vocal hiss caused by singing the letter S. To add a de esser at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on de esser The next effect to consider is the gain. This is used to increase the volume of the recorded vocals if your vocal recording level was too low for the mix. To add a gain, at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Utility tab. Then tap on Gain. The next effect to consider is the Graphic EQ. At this point, this is used to shape the sound of your vocals by removing low frequencies from boomy vocals, adding low frequencies to thicken up a thin voice, or to remove high frequencies from piercing vocals. To add a graphic EQ at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the tone tab. Then tap on graphic EQ. The next effects to consider is the compressor. At this point, this is used to equalize the volume of the vocal's sounds, so the louder parts are compressed so they are quieter, and quieter parts are boosted so they are louder. To add a compressor, at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on a compressor. Here I will tap on DigiComp. The next effects to consider is whether you want to add a chorus effect or a phaser effect. This is used to add a pulsing effect to the vocals that is similar to a warble. To add a chorus or a phaser, at the top right of the effects screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the modulation tab. Then tap on a chorus or a phaser FX. Here I will tap on ST Chorus. The next effects to consider is the delay or echo. This is used to increase the thickness of the recorded vocals by adding additional copies of the vocals to the track. To add a delay or echo at the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon and tap on the Delay tab. Then tap on a Delay or Echo. Here I will tap on Filter Echo. The next effects to consider is the reverb. This is used to blend the vocals into the mix by adding a reflected version of the vocals that makes human ears think the sound is further away. To add a reverb, at the top right of the FX, tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Reverb tab. Then tap on a reverb. Here I will tap on Space Maker. BandLab only allows up to 8 FX on a track, but there are 3 more FX to consider. We have already seen these 3 FX in this FX order, but here they are used for a different purpose. The first effects to consider is the noise gate. 
At this point, this is used to sharpen the effects like chorus, delay or reverb by reducing how long they linger after the vocals. The next effects to consider is the graphics EQ. At this point, this is used to shape the sound of the effects by adding or removing high or low frequencies from the combined vocals and effects. The final effects to consider is the compressor. At this point, this is used to equalize the volume of the effects by reducing the volume of the louder parts of the effects.